Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Gaming Bros. Welcome to this video. It, it's sort of like a tutorial how to, um, but the problem is my Streamlabs OBS was playing up so I couldn't really record through that. Oh my god. Shit. There's a spot there. Ignore it. Which is very difficult. Anyway. So, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to play Resident Evil 2 on PC through an ISO. So that you don't have to make multiple files, backing up all your files, so you, if you're using mods, you don't have to lose all your stuff. Now, the reason why, I'm, as I said before, my OBS was playing up, so I attempted to record this through that, and it decided not to work. So, let's record it this way. So, I'll switch the camera around, so you can see the TV screen and I'll show you how you work things. So, bear with me one moment. Okay, here we go. I know a lot of you people are bobbery moaning, why am I recording with my camera to my TV screen? Well, it's because OBS has been playing up and it doesn't like running uh, display mode and then running into the game mode. So, let's load up a Win ISO. So this is what you will get when you load up Win ISO. You just click later, you don't need to register it, there's no point. So you have all these options, nice options up here. This one is the one you will use to run your game, which is mount. Now just let me, I can't pause, so I'll just edit me moving forward just so you can see a bit more. So, there you go, you can see clearly what it says there, what to do. Right, well I have a folder on my desktop, some people might have a separate folder in of my documents. So best place to always try and put it is on my documents. Let me just rest my arm there. So up here, yeah, I've got so many Resident Evil things. So, up here, where I have Resident Evil 2 folder, I want to open that up. Then I want to select all these apart from this and the WinRAS. What you want to do is extract all the WinRAS into separate folders. I know I've got mine in here for no stupid reason. And you want to make sure you select these two, all these files, the registry, the PDL, and all that. Now, the PLO1 is Leon, PLO1 is Claire. Now, there are PDL files in here, which is your character. With modded characters, you want to make sure that you make sure it's PL, double O, and then that. And make sure you can have all these added if you need to add them into your character. Uh, I will show you a few character lists before I do this. So we have down over here, RE2 players now these are already got names by and all you have to do is make sure it's titled that for any of these you can play Barry uh, Jill Valentine with backpack Jill Valentine biker uniform all this stuff can be all used into that so Claire's will be basically the PLO one to do Jill Rebecca and all that and these are all for Leon to all the Resident Evil 1 characters and even a SWAT guy you, you just put you just copy to a separate f location, and you rename it to that, the PL, OO, and PDL, and then you'll copy it over. Um, but I will copy just this one to show you what it looks like. So, I'm going to select all these, which would be a lot easier if I had keyboard, uh, <laughs> two hands, and it was screen captured. So what I'm going to do is just do this. And then I'm going to bring the keyboard to me. Um, my one I'm going to do is select all these and then I'll transfer it over. Okay, right, I've done that. Got all the ones I want selected. Now you want to copy these over to there. You don't need to press copy and paste. Just grab it and you just drop it in there. And it should it will load up there. Shows you all the stuff you need. And then all you do is just click mount if you want to play the game properly or if you want to add mods. Open the PDL file. And because we're playing Leon, we need a man character. If I go to players, I would show you my character, but it's not done yet properly. And I will take... I know. We'll do... Um... Marvin with no hat. What you want to do is you want to drag it to your desktop out of the way. Close that down, and then you want to rename it to PDL. Zero zero, which is what's named in here. So you want to rename it to that. So 
So I want to just get rid of Marvin and the under scroll and just basically delete. So it will just be P L O O. I won't take the T off. So just make sure it looks like that. And you put it in the full file and click overwrite all. And then you mount it. So it'll make its own mm. sort of disc. Pretend it's like a, you've inserted a disc. Then you run it. Now you want to make sure that your options say 3D Rage Pro. Okay, make sure that's on and you want to play. Now mine set to Windows mode because it, it only works in Windows mode on mine. And it's a lot better if you want to... <laughs> well, it's a lot better if you want to keep an eye on chat and everything. I need to turn this down badly, so... Control, where are you? I keep losing my fucking control. <sighs> and I always want to turn these fucking things down, yay. <sighs> Bear with me. It's okay, I found it. Okay, so we want to put it down to about 12. Now what I want to do is, I'm going to do it on that. And we're going to play it on easy, just to show you. I don't normally play it on easy much. So what you want to do is wait for the boring cutscenes to go by. A bizarre. Mm, bizarre, man. And now we have Marvin. in Resident Evil 2. So that's how you do it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to do that. If you need to know any more, just ask. And if you want the, the files for the PDL stuff, I will try and find the link for you if you ask in my social media or in the comments. I will try and get you the links to some of the mods I have found. And if you want the Res Dan model, I will send that over, but be advised, don't play through the full game with my character model. It doesn't work all the way. I am working on how to fix that issue as uh, soon as possible. But other than that, that's the tutorial how to run WinISO and to play Resident Evil 2 without losing any of the files, which is pretty cool. And it works the same if you want to play the Resident Evil 2 uh, Destiny mod, which is a a free game play of Resident Evil 2 but different backgrounds and a different story. If you want to play that, that's easy. Just download it from the website and you play it direct. Make sure it is set to th the options in the graphics to the same 3D Rage Pro and it will record nicely. And when you are recording, make sure you click on um, video capture, no bollocks. I will load it up now and I'll show you how to record it through Streamlabs OBS. Anything else, uh, it's a bit of a bugger. Right, most people will click game capture. You don't want to click that because it won't work. You want to go over here to Windows capture. It will capture a simple window frame. Uh, for some reason Resident Evil 2 and I believe Nemesis is the same, it's only in a Windows setting. So that's what you press to record Resident Evil 2 and even the mods and you need to do that for the Resident Evil Destiny mod and also you want to do that for the Resident Evil Mortal Night mod as well to record. You want that, not game this uh, game capture because game capture doesn't seem to work with Resident Evil so you want that. Uh, for those who are wanting to know, if you want to try and do stuff I can't get to work, you want that on your Streamlabs OBS when you're doing your YouTube videos. I know, it's like, this is a Resident Evil tutorial and I'm teaching you how to do Streamlabs OBS. You want that on to show that when you get new subscribers. For the chat, you want to click chat box. You want to add that chat box in. Right there, that's what you need. You add the chat box in and it should come up with the chat of the game. For some reason, mine does this. So let's add the chat. You can set it to run for you. Oh god. Through uh, your uh, YouTube channel. But mine keeps coming up with a pop up. I don't know why. But I can hide that. So that's your chat that comes up. I don't really use chat. I, I should really use chat a lot. But it's just to help people that don't have these little pop up problems like I do to run your chat and it will come up here. 
Okay, so that's that quick little tutorial for that, so you know how to get your Streamlabs OBS to work to show uh, your chat. And if you want to go live on YouTube, you just go to the settings and you have to go to YouTube and all that. You should know all this by now. Um, what software do I use to do mods? Well, there's this thing here called RE2BM, which is to select all the rooms, the background, so you can change the backgrounds and how to run the game. You've also got Tim Viewer, which will show you different character stuff and all that. So you can get, um, let's just go into my player module. So you can get something like this come up to show you each three layer. This is my character in Resident Evil 2, which is Resident character, which is a mixture of Chris Redfield and Barry Burton. And there's all my stuff there. It's already ready to put through. I need to get a side pack one version. Uh, so that's the stuff I've got for this. There is another uh, software which I can't get to work on this computer, but it's on my brother's computer where you can look at models in the game. I, for some reason, don't have it on my computer. I believe it's on, I know it's on GC Chris's computer, but it's not mine. I also have this, which is a mod for doing Resident, uh, the very super hard Resident Evil game. And it's basically for the, it's called the Original Spices. Uh, it's pretty cool mod to use, but it does crash if you do use it. Now, a lot of people keep saying, what PlayStation 1 emulator are you using? This is coming into a random tutorial. It's this one here, PSX emulator V whatever, and it's a PSX FN, which I have no problems with. Uh, what controller I use? Before I quickly end this video, because I know a lot of people have been asking me these questions, I wanted to do it with this Resident Evil 2 thing. This is the controller I use. It's a PS... It's a PS2 PC controller. It's USB and I plug it into my PC. What do I use in my webcam? Well, it's my HD camera recorder over there with the microphone inbuilt, well, on it. So that's all. So yeah, from a quick video to a complete long video with extra bits at the end, so just to give you a little helpful tip on how to record or even live stream Resident Evil 2 and all the other stuff I use to do different things. I, I don't know why I bothered to put in the PlayStation emulator stuff I use and controllers, but I just thought I'll give you guys some help on what I use that works for me. If you're struggling to find anything that works, then I apologize, but these are the ones that work for me. So, and if you want to have your YouTube the live streams look good and you have your chat coming up, I just teach you how to do that as well. Um, mine has some random advert come up. I don't know why it does that, so. I don't know how to get around it at the moment, but maybe you lot in the comments can help me out. So anyway, so that's this video on tutorial of how to play Resident Evil 2 on PC through ISO where you're using WinISO. So hopefully this video will help you guys to play it if you ever want to download Resident Evil 2 and you don't want to lose all your files and you don't want to add backups. This is the perfect way to run various different ISO games and how you don't lose all your stuff. You put it all through to that win ISO, all the files. And you can also add in mods. This is the easiest way and the best way of doing it. I've also teach you how to use Streamlabs OBS to record this or even live stream it. So hopefully this tutorial little video would help you guys. Thank you guys for joining me for this video. If you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, share this to your friends on social media. And if you want anything else, just ask in the comment section below. And if you need any little step-by-step -step tips, I will try and talk you through it. Until next time, we'll catch all you, the Game Bro fans, in the next one. Dismissed.